Tilda. Mulching is an ancient farming method that's been around for ages and a lot of different cultures around the world have understood the benefits of mulching to help keep the plants and soil healthy. Um, in traditional Polynesian agriculture, a lot of different types of plants and trees were used as a mulch, uh, like the coconut tree, the pandanus, the kikui or the candle nut, uh, banana trees and breadfruit, just to name a few. Uh, traditional practice, especially in Eastern Polynesia, is to use like a mulch cover on the taro plantations and in modern times cardboard is also used as a base layer and then it's covered with leaves or like coconut fronds and the mulch is usually laid over the field first and then the uh, the huri or the, the taro stems are put in holes which are dug with a core. Taro is usually grown in wetland areas because it needs very rich and constantly moist soil and mulching helps to smother out the weeds because uh, in swamps the vegetation usually just runs rampant like in no time and it also helps to retain moisture in the soil and keep it nice and cool which is especially important in the tropics because Taro doesn't like it too hot, too dry or too cold and the last thing it does is it kind of feeds the soil as it breaks down and decomposes Mulching is kind of like the, the lazy man's alternative to composting because it requires a lot less work, which is kind of what we're all about in the Pacific. Um, some of the composting systems like that are out there can be a bit hoha and they can get real technical, like you've got to make sure you put in the right balance of green and brown waste so it doesn't go either too aerobic or anaerobic. Uh, you also got to aerate or turn the pot, the like the compost pile regularly. You have to water it now and then to keep it moist. Um, you got to inoculate it with bacteria, microorganisms, or or add worms. And then on top of all of that, once it's finished, kind of breaking down, you have to load it up, carry it somewhere, and then shovel it on your garden beds. But with mulching, you don't need to worry about any of that. You just get whatever grass clippings, leaves, branches and other vegetation that you have nearby and you just chuck it all on the ground and let nature do all the work. Of course it takes like longer to break down than like compost systems but the end result is, is the same. Mulching is basically mimicking what naturally happens in, in forests like dead leaves, wood, animals, they fall to the ground and over time they all break down, they decay and then they turn into that nice dark organic soil. So it's a, it's a very efficient self-sustaining system which allows forests to survive without the need of us kind of so-called intelligent humans with our <coughs> with you know, irrigation systems, fertilizers and herbicides, compost bins and garden machinery and all that stuff. So yeah, that's, and that's the kind of system that you, you, know, you should be aiming for in your garden, like one that just looks after itself. So yeah, you can apply these natural principles to your, to your own garden setup pretty, pretty easily. <clears throat> My only tip would be like if you've got more of an orchard or agroforestry setup with heaps of fruit trees or nut trees, then go with a thicker layer of old old branches, leaves, or like a wood mulch around the base of the trees, and just keep it adding new layers whenever you do a bit of trimming or pruning. Uh, the diameter of, of the base mulch should be at least the same diameter as the tree canopy because the root systems under a tree will just sprawl out and tap into and feed on the nutrients created from that base mulch. And I guess the next question is where do you get your mulch from? So you can get arborists uh, to dump mulch on your property which I'll often do for free. Uh, where I am it's too hard for, for trucks or trailers to, to access so I just have to create my own mulch and in that case that's why it's best to, 
to intercrop your garden with fast growing natives and support species so that you've got a regular supply of vegetation and biomass which you can just cut, prune and spread it spread around. Um, what I use here is mostly like sugarcane, inga bean, lemongrass, wisteria, Mexican sunflower and quite a, quite a few natives like karamu, kōhuhu, kapuka, akeake, fau, pūriri, manuka and basically anything that I prune off my banana trees and, and other fruit trees. I've also got heaps of um, like these clumps of pampas grass and fountain grass uh, which is in one part of my garden and they're both kind of considered invasive so I just go hard and hack them back all the time and like just before they go to seed and I usually get a heap of biomass from them as well. Uh, you can also use raked up old leaves, grass clippings, food scraps, shells, bones, weeds and basically just use whatever's in your space and dump it around your fruit or nut trees um, and even even gorse which is another introduced invasive species can be all mulched up for smaller size like garden crops like herbs or veggies or like young seedlings I think it's best to go with a, a much lighter and thinner mulch layer made up of like grass straw stems and small leaves because it's because <clears throat> if the mulch is too thick and heavy the the seeds will just have like a hard time sprouting through to the surface but um, once once they get a bit bigger you can you, you can add thicker layers of mulch and I usually just let all the plants in this sort of garden um, set up just self seed and die naturally and that just adds another layer of mulch and I don't need to worry about sowing seeds either so mulch mulching probably makes up the bulk of the work that I do in this particular garden but um, I don't really do it that much anyway and it actually reduces the overall amount of work that you have to do because it eliminates the need to irrigate and to do things like fertilizing, weeding, composting, tilling or, or pest control so I don't need to do any of that stuff because mulching basically replaces all of those practices so yeah that, that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions. Mauri order.